Hey guys, it's Tracy. Welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to do the books, no, Creatures of the Book night tag. Um, oh, I can't even speak today. Um, Creatures of the Night book tag, which was created by Katie from Katie Tastic, or Cat from Katie Tastic. Um, and it sort of ties in with the Halloween theme that's going on at the moment. I actually watched Reagan or Peru's projects video and decided why not. So essentially, um, there are you know, all these paranormal or fantasy creatures and you pair the creature with um, a book that or a book with the creature in there that is like one of your favourites or like the one that you like the most out of the creature thing, if that makes any sense. Uh, once I get into it, I think you will understand a bit more. My explanation today is terrible um, and I think my selection is probably not I'm familiar to a lot of you guys because it's books that I think everybody's read but let's just get into it so the first creature is vampires um, and at first my first thought was Twilight but then I realized that I actually loved Vampire Academy by Richelle Mead a lot more um, this is probably one of the second vampire books that I've read um, and while I don't love the ending, I still hate the ending. I just think overall it's a really well written series. Um, something that's really enjoyable, and I fly through these. I haven't re reread these in a while though, but I absolutely love them. The second one is Werewolves, and I'm gonna sneak this in. And it is the Infernal Devices series by Cassandra Clare, or the Mortal Instruments series by Cassandra Clare. Um, both of them is set in the same world, um, just in different sort of time or periods um, but they all have mystical creatures in them and werewolves essentially werewolves aren't the main characters but they still appear in this so you know it works if I have to say anything though um, I think the Infernal Devices series is a lot easier to read and a lot more enjoyable a lot more sort of easier to like as opposed to the Modern Instrument series where you have to really persevere with everything um, and try and push to get to the end of the series. If you want something to read that is just purely based on werewolves, then I do suggest Liar by Justine La Balestia. I have no idea how to pronounce that. It's not a fantasy novel or anything. It's basically a contemporary, but it's a bit weird. Um, and it does have werewolves in there, so definitely check it out. Moving on, and we have zombies, and I'm stretching the truth here quite a bit, but I have The Glass Casket by McCormick Templeman, which is probably the only book that I own, that I've read, that is sort of similar to zombies. I don't really read a lot of sort of paranormal stuff, but this is, um, this revolves around a town mystery, or, yeah, I guess about, um, you know, these murders that happen in the woods, and then people are freaking out because they don't know what, what's going on and who it is. Um, I don't want to say anything else, but I feel like I've spoiled it for you guys. It's a good book in that it's kind of creepy, but at the same time, I didn't really enjoy it that much. It's just convenient for this tag, I guess. Um, and then we have Ghosts, and this is my one of my ultimate favourites for this year, and it is the Shadow In the Shadow of Blackbirds by Cat Winters, and this girl is sent to live with her auntie, um, and then she finds out that her boyfriend or the, you know, her childhood lover um, is dead, or at least she thinks he's dead because um, his ghost keeps coming to visit her, and it's kind of creepy because um, he tries to tell her these messages, and she's trying to solve out the mystery because what she is hearing from his family isn't what she believes. Kind of really creepy, but it's one of my favourite reads for this year. It is so good. And then we have witches or warlocks or sort of magical like spellcasters, I guess. And I know this is such an obvious choice, and I know a lot of people who've done this tag have sort of tried to avoid it, but I really can't because I cannot ever look overlook Harry Potter or the Harry Potter series by J.K. Rowling. This is the first book. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, which I'm currently actually rereading, like just casually on the side. And the series is seven um, books long, and the franchise is so successful. And if you read it, you will know why. If you haven't read it, then please do read it because it is one of my all time favorites. It actually is number one in my heart. So, yeah. And then we have Fairies or Fays, and. My obvious choice is um, The Girl Who Circuit Navigator Fairyland um, in a ship of her own making, which is the first book in the Fairyland series. Um, yeah, that's how it is. And the second book, which is The Girl Who Fell Beneath Fairyland and Led the Rebels There, 
Um, this is a sort of like a modern day fairy tale written by Catherine Involanti. She's an amazing author. Um, so yeah, the girl September um, finds herself accidentally in fairyland and, you know, embarks on this journey. Um, there are different other different magical creatures, but because it's fairyland, obviously there are fairies. Even though I don't really remember if the fairies are like a major part of it or not. But this is an amazing series. It's adorable and I just love it. And the next creature is demons. So I am going to say Throne, the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J. Mars. This is the second book, Crown of Midnight, and the third book, Air of Fire. Um, the first book is actually my um, stand thing for my camera at the moment. <laughs> Awkward. Um, but these covers are amazing. They're so gorgeous. Um, basically, the main character, Selena, um, is an assassin. She's one of the you know most well-known assassins out there. And she ends up turning into the king's champion um, in a world where magic has been banned. Um, but then all of a sudden these sort of like demons or like, um, you know, evil spirits appear and she doesn't know what's going on. Um, and the series is amazing. I finished the last book just last month and I gave it 5 out of 5 stars because it is so, so good. I um, didn't really love the first book, but I think once you get into the series and sort of like push through, you will fall in love. I can guarantee that. Uh, and then we have Angels, um, and for this one I chose to go with the Unearthly series, oh, maybe I should do this. The Unearthly series by Cynthia ha Hand, and this is one of the earliest Angel um, books that I've read, and that I really actually enjoy. It's actually a really good series. Um, basically about like this girl who has this vision that she's supposed to save this guy in a forest um, elsewhere I think and because she's an angel she has to fulfill this vision so when she moves to the place um, where the vision takes place she um, all of a sudden meets this boy who is in the vision but he turns out to be an angel as well and I think the conflict in it is really well written as well and I love the, the um, covers so that's unearthly Hallowed, which is the second book, and that's amazing. And Boundless, which is the third and final book. And then we have Aliens, and I had to rack my brain to think about this before I realised that I actually have The Host by Stephanie Meyer, which is an amazing book. I gave it 5 out of 5 stars last year. Oh, wait. No, this year, I think? Yeah, this year. I think it raises really good issues on morals, um, you know, what's right and what's wrong, and looking past people and their appearance and stuff like that. And I just think it's a really good read. Um, if you are put off by Stephanie Meyer because of Twilight, don't. Because this is actually a lot better than Twilight. And the last one is Superheroes. And I'm going to have to go with Percy Jackson in the Percy Jackson and the Olympian series by Rick R Riordan. Um, even though he isn't really a superhero, more of a demigod. But I guess that sort of works out because he does save the world. And it's a middle grade series actually. But I finished this this year and I really enjoyed it. So that is that for the Creatures of the Night book tag. Um, I am not sure who I'm going to tag yet, but I'll leave links to them down below. If you guys want to do it, definitely do it and leave me a link down below telling me or showing me the video or even telling me what your answers to the questions are. Otherwise, I shall see you guys next time. Bye!